Hi, here's a quick video on how to diagnose and test for engine faults. A lot of uh, modern cars, in fact all modern cars, have to have uh, an interface on them. It allows you to plug in an electronic testing module like this one. Uh, it's called an OBD2 connector or EOBD2. And it basically is a connector that ties into the car's uh, computer and any faults that occur in your car will be reported by the computer and can be accessed nowadays very cheaply by bits of electronics and either a phone, iPhone or an iPad. So this one, <coughs> you want to get one of these, which costs about £12 from eBay. There's a Wi-Fi interface and it's an OBD2 uh, connector and uh, based on the ELM327. So that's the key numbers to look for. The next thing is to find out where your OBD2 socket is, which is always going to be near the driver's steering wheel, probably under the dash. Excuse me while we have a look under here. Quite often by the fuse box. So on this one, which is an MGTF, look for a socket, hopefully you can see, that's shaped like that. A similar shape to the other end of this plug. And plug it in. A little light comes on, so you're connected to the car that is. <coughs> Don't leave it on there all the time because it'll probably help to flatten the battery. And uh, then turn on the ignition. Now that Wi-Fi unit, sorry, now that uh, tester unit is now giving out a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot signal, so we have to connect to that, so we go onto our iPad there's Wi-Fi OBD2 connect to that now there's lots of OBD2 software on the App Store for uh, iPhone or iPad there's lots of there's OBD2 of software some of them that, that I've got some of them. let's try this one, OBD Auto Doctor I know this one works, so you tip on, click on connect might have to play around with your Wi-Fi IP settings, but it works right away for me. Probably due to the default IP settings I've got on my uh, local other Wi-Fi network. So, connecting to vehicle. Wait a little while. Connected to vehicle. So, engine codes. So, you look for confirmed engine codes. And in fact, we go through the menu. All the software is going to be a little bit different. Click on trouble codes. And there we can see P0195 engine oil temperature sensor circuit. And very useful uh, code indication. So it's an oil temperature sensor, which I hadn't looked at before. When I looked at it on this MGTF, happened to be, I've unscrewed it, but it happened to be this one here, uh, which we can very easily uh, get a replacement for. It happened to be a BMW part, uh, lots of different part numbers uh, Lucas Salem, Intermotor, BMW. A Land Rover part number. I think the Rover part number is MEK000030. Uh, the equivalent Lucas SNB947 only costs £10. Can cost a lot more if you uh, buy it from stupid places, probably like uh, BMW. Uh, so <coughs> let's just turn everything off while we replace that. So a useful thing about computers nowadays, I know people moan a lot about having computers and not being able to fix engines, but actually with the, process, with the cost of parts being as they are now, like the OBD2 test had only been 12 quid, it actually makes finding out where the faults are on cars a lot, a lot easier. Remember another car I had, happened to be a Camaro, uh, the computer helped me to do the quickest job I'd ever done on a car engine, because it gave me a fault code saying that the EGR valve was faulty. The engine was running a little bit rough, so it was difficult to say exactly what it was. But via the computer, it identified the fault, and then the EGR valve was on the top of the engine, two bolts, and about five minutes later, the valve was changed, job was done. So computers nowadays can actually make it a lot, lot quicker for diagnosing faults on engines and helping you to fix it a lot quicker than the olden days, despite uh, what people say about being unable to fix um, engines due to computers so you just got to get uh, modern with the times get a little bit of uh, electronics a little bit of software and it makes life a lot easier right, now I've changed the temperature sensor we'll actually use uh, another bit of software 
software, EOBD fact file on the App Store again. I uh, actually upgraded to the premium version of this, it only cost ten ninety nine, so I thought it was worth doing. Enables you to clear out the status codes. So now we look up. Oh, let's just check. Yeah, we are connected. Status. Yeah, we are. So I'll clear the trouble codes by clear DTCs, and now get it to read the trouble codes P zero 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 zero, which basically means the code for no trouble codes at all. So job done. So it just show, shows how easy it is to fix a car with the aid of um, computers. So the other things you can do with the software is to monitor the state of the engine. So here we're looking at two uh, the oxygen sensors on the engine. And we can look at various statistics about the engine. Manifold pressure, engine speed, RPM, temperature, ignition advance and so on. And you can even measure the 0 to 60s. So, uh, apart from diagnostics, a few other useful things. So, that's uh, the benefit of OBD2 diagnostic software, uh, which is now very cheap for the average DIY guy. Okay. Thanks for watching.